Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Blue Book Records. So what we're talking about in Rule 2 are typefaces for law reviews. We are using four typefaces. Um, and we're generally not talking about choice of font, although most law reviews would uh, ask for Times New Roman as a font, for example. What we're talking about with typefaces is plain text, underlined, italicized, and what's called large and small capitals, what I usually call small caps. So plain text, uh, ordinary Times New Roman, ordinary Roman, underlined, italicized, and small caps. Now, you might see something differently. You might see a underlined where you might expect italicized. But for law reviews, we are separating those. So you'll see just plain text underlined as a separate idea, uh, italicized, and uh, small caps. So, most law reviews will use the plain text, italics, and small caps in citations. Some might replace the small caps with ordinary text. But in general, you'll see, like, so for example, the name of the uh, publication. So for case names, use ordinary text, ordinary type for case names in the full citation. There's an exception for uh, procedural phrases. And in that case, you'll italicize them. So if the case appears in in an article that's italicized, then the case won't be italicized. Now, the short form, which we'll talk about uh, in a later video, of a case, you will italicize it in the short form. Books, this is 2.1b. In books, we use small caps, large and small capitals, for the author and the title. Periodicals, this is C. We use author's name is ordinary. The title is in italics. The periodical name is small caps. Uh, the numbers within those are uh, in ordinary type. So introductory signals, which we talked about in rule one, you italicize all introductory signals and the explanatory phrases, the parentheticals. Sorry, uh, par parentheticals or something else. Explanatory phrases uh, when we are um, 
for example, explaining a case, the history of a case. We italicize those. So remember the commas. So the commas and, sorry, I should say semicolons as well, and all punctuation marks when they're part of the italicized material. And the blue book has a few examples where they actually um, highlight in blue the portions that should be italicized. So typeface conventions for material that's in the text, in the main body. We're only using ordinary text and italics. Usually, we're only dealing with ordinary text with the following exceptions. Case names. We italicize case names in the text, uh, including the V and all the procedural text. Uh, titles of publications or articles. So explanatory parentheticals. Using parentheticals, you follow the, the typeface convention for the case names when a full citation clause is included. And I would check this out in Romanet 3 and is 2.2b Romanet 3. So again, punctuation, uh, we're uh, italicizing commas, semicolons, uh, when they're part of the italicized material. And Blue Book in 2.2c will have uh, examples of this and they highlight the text or the material in blue so you can differentiate. Uh, sometimes it's not easy, uh, especially uh, commas, whether or not the comma should be, should be italicized. But this is clear in rule 2.2c. Typefaces for law reviews. Law reviews, that's rule two. Thanks everybody, we'll take a quick break and go to rule three. Thank you. Thank you.